Living during the pandemic has brought us new experiences, complicated situations, and crucial moments. But it has also allowed us to be still and see miracles. Our church had been renting a pastoral home for 20 years, and due to the pandemic, our church was greatly affected, and we entered a time of financial crisis. That meant we could no longer pay the rent and other church expenses. When the day came and we couldn't pay our rent, we asked ourselves, what are we going to do in this situation? We decided to take a step out in faith. We had some funds saved for construction and we decided to start building the pastoral home because we had a place to do that. But it was hard and we were looking for other ways in which we could get more funds to be able to continue with the construction. We spoke with our leaders, our district superintendent, Marcial Banda, and missionary Harrison Guaman, and they gave us hope that we would be able to continue with our building and we would get some help. One day, I was sitting and praying, and I received a WhatsApp message. That great message said we were chosen to receive support to continue with our construction. We were surprised to learn that the support was Alabaster Funds. Those Alabaster Funds were a miracle from God, and they arrived and allowed us to finish our pastoral home where we are now living. Glory be to God. And in that, God showed us His mercy. In that time and now, it was a reminder, and we know that we are part of a great church. And they didn't abandon us. And in that crucial time, God worked through His church and supported us. It is for that reason we are motivated to continue moving forward, growing in membership, in leadership, as well as in our infrastructure and in missions. We pray that more pastors and missionaries will be raised up and they will continue to contribute to the work of God. We are so very thankful and we give the glory to God for this great miracle. Following the construction of the church and the pastor's home, the congregation continued to faithfully give to see the project further developed, to provide teaching space and classrooms on the top floor of the building. Receiving congregations are also giving congregations that bring projects like Reque Peru to completion. Thank you for giving through Alabaster. <laughs>